Hello everyone, my name is Alex. This is an episode of a course, How to Learn Java Within 50 Days. Link to the full playlist is in the description below. In this episode specifically, we're going to talk about code formatting. And as you might have noticed from before, we're just typing our code like this, and we have no space in between um, the this line, this line, this line, and this line. We just have them on two lines. And I'm going to teach you the way I format code to make it feel very nice and, and open so that you can easily find things without having to comment all your own code. Uh, now, if you work in a company, for example, you should definitely com comment all of your code so that other people can work with your code as well. So, this is the way I do it uh, when I create my games and programs, etc. Um, instead, so instead of commenting code, I just space out my code. And what I do is that in between uh, the the class here and methods, I have a blank a blank row, both here uh, in the start and in the end. So each method has a, f a blank space above it and underneath it. Um, also, the chicken here, the class, I renamed it to chicken, by the way in case you're wondering. Uh, the chicken here, the chicken class, uh, this line uh, has a blank row, a blank line uh, here, and a blank line here. And if there were to be another method, which we haven't talked about yet, but let's say there was another public void, uh, that that's a method, I will teach you about that in, in another tutorial. Um, let's say there was a method here, don't need to worry about this. So, so yeah, uh, there there will be still be one r one blank row in between this the end of this class and and the the method being the f being the furthest way down. Um, so I'm just going to remove this real quick here. Now we've we've talked about if statements and loops before, um, and when you're typing an if statement, if you want to follow my rules for code formatting to get a nice basic code, airy code, <laughs> I do not know what to call it, but uh, let's say we had an if statement uh, asking t asking you if one is equal to one, or asking the computer if one is equal to one, um, this is how, how we would do it. So we would we would leave one one blank row from, from the top here, or from any other method being above it, let's say we had an if statement here as well, or a for loop, let's say we had a for loop, for int i equals zero, um, i is less than 10, i plus plus, and you should know what this means if you you follow along this series so far, or if you're following along this, this series course. Um, now, as you can see here, there there's a blank space uh, from from the border of this, so, so just like with the class, this one has a blank row here and a blank row here, blank line. Um, same with these things. Those are exactly the same. Although, if let's say we're looping through uh, a multi-dimensional array, which we haven't talked about yet, which we will talk about in a future episode, and we want to loop through like a world made out of tiles, what we would do is that we would put two for loops next to each other or how many for loops we require. For example, if this is a 3D game, uh, we're making like Minecraft, we would have an X, Y, and a Z here, or a Z, uh, depending on if you come from America or England. Um, so so, so we, have, we have it like this, we have it set up like this. Although if statements, uh, things inside if statements, if sta statements require a line here, um, or, or lines around it. Although for loops, for loops requires lines outside them unless it is a for loop inside another for loop. And this is the same for everything except the for loops. Uh, when typing in variables, like we had an integer called coke here, and we set it to 12 because we got 12 cokes for some reason, I do not know of, um, and we would like to create another integer, we would just type the integer after it like that, or we would make a comma, like I, I told you before, uh, and we had tribe, we are in 12 tribes at the same time, We're still ending it with a semicolon, obviously. Um, so we could go your equals 45, 
and it would just go on like that forever. Um, same if we would have different variables, choose your own system how you want to sort them. If you want to sort them by type or like variable name, uh, variable type, like if it's a float, uh, which I haven't really uh, talked through yet, float uh, my little pony equals one, for example. Um, I would probably just go like this, but that is to make it easy or, or simple. Um, so, so for all things that requires these um, curly brackets, um, they require space above them and underneath them, unless it is a for loop in in another for loop to make your code nice and spacey. So, thanks for watching this episode, and I will in the next episode we will be talking about switches. It's going to be very interesting, so that you don't need to uh, put a lot of effort into typing uh, big if statement statements and a lot of else ifs. Um, so, hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will be back soon with more. Thanks for watching.